in entrepreneur and, and, and man development and man empowerment. Um, if you think of it, you ask yourself, in what I'm, I'm doing, am I relevant in the next five years? Mm. What am I doing to, to place myself in a position where I am relevant, my services and my talks and my products are still relevant to the people? Because you may be, we may be motivational speakers. Remember now that every other person who's got a, a smartphone in their, phone, in their pocket, they have, I mean, almost a terabyte of motivational videos, motivational content. And you and I are here saying I'm a motivational speaker, yet you are competing with uh, uh, T.D. Jakes, Denzel Washington, in someone else's phone. Whenever they want to listen to motivation, they will just pop out their phone and listen to it. And it's almost free. Yet you are saying, come to my seminar, and my seminar is 500 bucks. Come and listen to me. Are you really going to give them content that is more powerful than that? That Those people maybe should not be more powerful than theirs, but is your content going to be relevant to their lives? Are we going to remain relevant? Well, uh, there's one thing I usually tell people that you know we have those guys who are unemployed. Mara, they are always say Mara Mara Lugai because Mara has that unique element that they need. Then it means that in this case, uniqueness is very key that you do the best and not what the rest are doing. In, in, a, man, that, in, in a sense that if you have that uniqueness element, right now we know that who is buying whoever and whoever. Not basically that, I mean, not basically that, um, I am, um, is that okay? Leadership. <laughs> I mean the spirit. Yep, I'm I can feel it. Mood. I can feel it. In, 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 in essence, I'm trying to say that each and every one must find that unique element that you know that, okay, in morale this is what we buy, or this is what morale is about. So when we call morale, we know that morale is the best in that particular field. Mm -hmm. And not necessarily that the rest are not doing well. Mara, we know that Mahali does it best. TTFM 96.2, your ultimate dial. This is a dot uh, for a dot motivation uh, by Patrick Chavalala and uh, Mohale. <laughs> I wanted to praise him, so he's <laughs> I got a Kalata mail in my soul. <laughs> so he's I got a Kalata mail. However, eh uh, TFM 96.2 your ultimate dial is kura ma kuma naro eh if you can strike in 10 the road eh se fa kuma ka tlo bele go strike eni ba tere ba tshwane bele go strike eni se le go tikeni ene a yonko o ngona ba stiki ba strike la yini pro king ya gona so le zwinga le zwinga hlangana na zwana bo lo go elang sa aka aka se fa kuma ka tlo eh about one university. Chabalala. Speak my mind, Shabalala motivations. Leadership, uh, Mr. Mohali, you know, um, I like the fact that, you know, you've brought in two elements here, mm. or more. Where in Mr. Mohali speaks of business and men empowerment. You know, it takes me back to the times of, uh, um, you know, men of honor. Mm. Now, leadership, you know, speaking of business, um, you know, there are times where People get into business. I, I've always, I'm not a, a, a business speaker or a business specialist as such, mm -hmm. but I have always maintained that a business is better off when it expands than just growing because there's growth in business and there's also expansion. Now, sometimes people don't fail in business because they were going to fail in that business. Can, can you explain?